Hey everybody, this is Sincere from whoissincere.com. Coming to you, I uh, want to just drop a little bit of information. I've been watching this uh, TV show Under the Dome lately. I've, I don't watch much TV, but I said I'm going to watch a you know, few episodes of this. But ended up watching season one, season two. Um, got to season three, and I guess that's going on right now. So it's only a few episodes. And I just uh, wanted to drop some information about the September 10th, 2015 date. I was doing a little bit of research. Just, you know, if any of you guys watch Under the Dome, I'm sure you understand uh, a lot about the TV series and the twists and the turns and, you know, some of the uh, symbolism that's in there. Um, but it's a, it's a pretty good, you know, show. So what just concerned me is if, you know, just in looking at, the episodes, if you look at June 24th here, the September 16th for season one, you'll see, um, uh, you know, that's it, a, it, well, you don't really see anything until you look down into season two and you see the correlation between the dates. So you'll have uh, the first aired. You see uh, in season one, June 24th, season two, June 30th, six day difference. Uh, last aired season one, 16th. Season 2, 22nd, six-day difference. Now, the only difference, the only funky difference here is uh, Season 3, June 25th, which would be one day after Season 1, but the end date is September 10th, which is six days before, um, you know, the, the, the end date of September 16th for Season 1. So, it didn't follow format like you would normally have, a, you know, expected it to. Um, if it would have followed format from season one to season two, and um, same thing for season three, we'd be looking at a 17th stop date uh, or last air date for season three. Instead, it's seven days before then and six days, uh, you know, before uh, the... the uh, the season one, uh, uh, season one last air date. So I just think that's very interesting, you know, as far as having September 10th, 2015, as, uh, some of you may know, or if you're not familiar with, uh, under the dome, um, Microsoft is involved with that as well. There's been a little bit of controversy about all the Microsoft propaganda throughout the, the series, which is quite extensive to be honest with you. Uh, it concerns me because, you know, you we know people like Bill Gates, what his mind is like. Uh, he doesn't think like you and I, normal people. He's kind of on a, you know, a different level. You look at what he does with vaccinations. Um, you look at how his, uh, his company is tied into organizations like Proteus. Uh, check my YouTube channel. I've done, done a couple of videos on Proteus. If you don't know what that is, you should find out immediately. Um you know, and, and for him to be involved with something like Under the Dome and the concepts of, uh, you know, uh, uh, I guess you could say an alien invasion, apocalypse, um, we're, you know, we're still not certain what the hell is going on in Under the Dome. It's just so many things have happened. I followed the whole story. I understand the whole storyline. I don't understand the why of it. Um, because there's just so many twists and turns that, you know, some things that are left unanswered. One thing that I can say is still unanswered is, the, um, the obelisk, the obelisk from Zenith. It seems like, you know, that was just completely forgotten about and it's not talked about anymore. It seems like when they got to, uh, you know, where they were supposed to go and actually where they threw the egg in and also where the other dude dropped through, well, that obelisk from, uh, Zenith, that's the last time that we saw that reference. It was, you know, a pretty strong reference uh, for a while there throughout season two. And now it's, uh, you know, it's it's not a reference at all anymore. So we have the obelisk reference. Um, and I bring up the obelisk because I think uh, places like the One, One World Trade Center, um, you know, for you 9-11 conspiracy theorists that are out there, which you're not even conspiracy theorists anymore, uh, it's conspiracy fact, uh, a lot of the, there's some great information out there, but, um, 
you know, just a heads up for September 10, 2015, that I was able to uncover, you know, another reference to that date and just with the whole under the dome concept and Microsoft, uh, you know, having their hands in under the dome, I thought that would be interesting and relevant information. Hope you think so too. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot and keep updated for new videos.